everyone and thanks for tuning in the channel today so we are back at the off-grid property today well first things first Derek wants to share it with everyone you want to share you want to share because well, kind of <laughs> well I feel that if it comes from me it's not the same because uh, you're the you're the one that does it all so all right. all right all right well we dug a hole so we could fix the road and now I want to dig a big pond here yeah yeah well, yeah, especially now these last like three weeks, four weeks, we've had no rain. Yeah, so it'd be good to have some water on the property. There is uh, an old spring well under here. Let's see, Let's see under, if I can point under there. Under this, uh, it's got water here. in it right now. There is a video out there. Yeah, there is. That uh, we yeah, dug all the way in. There. Yeah, you, you drained it all out and. Yeah. So, I'm thinking we'll leave the road so that you can go both ways there. Yeah, and right there. We'll we like that. I want to build that up more, that road. Yes, build that up a little that bit up more. Flat right through there with all the dirt I dig out of here. Even though it's pretty good right now, I'm pretty happy with yeah, it. Yeah, I might as well go. I mean, I got to put all this dirt somewhere. That's true. So I'll put it there, and then uh, the piles of clay, we'll line it with the clay. And Get this pond up. going because yeah. we need water. Always good to have, yeah. Oh, well, just in case. Just in case. Yeah. Just need water, just in case. Yeah. And it's got to get done. We have the excavator, so. Yeah. And this area is kind of ugly. It is kind of ugly, and the well, pond digging it up. The pond will make it nice. So that's yeah. uh, that's one of the projects coming up on the Avgood property. Hopefully this fall. This fall. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's that's a yeah. 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 First. We'll get the field. Get the field done, and then we'll move the excavator back down here. Perfect. Yeah. All right. All right. So this is the beginning. The beginning of the pond. Yeah. And you wanted how big, you said? Well, we'll go uh, from the road there. And it'll go up past those trees. Okay, dimension-wise. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Take a guess, no? Well, I, I couldn't even guess. I well, I'm just trying to go with my riding arena. Yeah. You know, it's 100 by 55. Yep. So, it's going to be about the size of my yeah, outdoor riding arena. Yeah, something like that. For the horses. Maybe we'll go a little farther. Further up there. Okay. Just an idea. Yeah. All right. You utilize all the dirt that comes out, all the the sand, you know, the clay, sand, clay stuff. All, all right. So now to the real reason why we're here. All right. So the pond is in the works, but now we need to finish that hay field. So today we're gonna jump. We, as in Derek, is gonna jump on the excavator. And he's going to push around some more trees, stumps, stuff, debris, whatever you want to call it. Get that better because we have to plant that this fall. And just like that, we're already mid-September. The seasons go way too fast. Not enough hours in a day and so much work to do. All right, so Derek's got the machine going and uh, he did tell me was going to clean this up right there as you can see there's a few things that he wants to get done hopefully we'll get it all done but you know it's uh we run old machines so we don't uh overwork them no more breakdowns we're good on breakdowns we, we've had our share for a while we're good i feel that uh, we're good right <laughs> anyway so he's gonna get those tree stumps out and get this hay field done once and for all manual thumb <laughs> just like that he put in a thumb <laughs>
fast that machine so fast we think when we were doing it with that old crawler that we have or the skitter or shovels or just oh my gosh right takes minutes for this machine to do it not even seconds he's just trying to get all the dirt out of the trunk so that uh, he's not hauling that out because we need the dirt we need the soil but uh, yeah crazy how fast that machine is so great As you can see, he laid down all the tree stumps right there. He's going to bring that big one that he just pulled out. He's going to set it there. And then I think he said that he, this is the one that he forgot last time. I'm not sure if he's going to get it done today. I think that was part of the plan. But anyways, once he's got all those there all together, 
he's basically going to take the skitter. Oh, that's a big one. There's no way we would have been doing that by hand. Not a chance. Anyways, so then what he's going to do is he's going to see how this is all nice and cleaned up. Well, we're going to clean it up some more because we still have some branches, but that's no big deal. Um, he's going to push it all into the bush line for now. You just uh, see he's got to push there as well. And that's what he's going to do. He's going to come back in and completely push it all against the tree line. Nice. It'll be nice and clean. So that we can actually have a hay field. Yeah, so right now he's probably just going to fill in the hole that he, uh, that he dug by getting that big tree stump out. But yeah, that's, uh, that's crazy. And I know what you guys are going to say. I know I got a couple of viewers going to be like, you need that thumb. We know. We 100% know. And we agree 100%. It is on the list of things to get. It is. But yes, like I said, we know it is on the list of things to get. Um, fingers crossed. Maybe we'll find one. Jack figures he might have to maybe build one himself, build one together. I think that's probably what's going to happen. All that takes time and money, but we'll get there. One small job at a time. Time. That's a time. At a time. Oh, well, I'm not sure if he forgot about that, or he's just shutting her down. We're done. Job done. I like it. Yeah, that's uh, those are some big uh, tree stumps he pulled out. Oh, that, last one, eh? that last one was real good. Yeah. Ah, look at that. Yeah, the thing is, it's probably under this clay, about uh, two or three feet, it's all bedrock. Yeah. So the roots are like big and go along. And they long, yeah, they've stretched out. And of course, by doing that, the bugs are bad. Yeah. Like all of a sudden, digging the dirt and the bugs are bad. Anyways, look at that. Got the job done so fast. But yeah, it was uh, leaking too much, so shut her down. Another thing to get fixed. Yeah, that's awesome. Just to think this was all trees, all this area, this was all full of trees. And now it's not smooth. It will be, but look what that looks like now. So that there is like that now. But then once it's all pushed into the tree line, it'll look like this. One step closer. Well, it was definitely another successful uh, time at the property here. This is great. Little jobs are getting done. It's nice when machines work not broken completely down doesn't shut down the operation <laughs> all right so how i know i asked the question how big you want the pond but i'm gonna ask every viewers out there how big do you think we should do this pond what do you think will be uh, sufficient for us i know i'm not picky and i guess we'll probably just start digging and just uh anyways you leave me a comment let me know how big we should do this pond. Big enough for a pontoon boat. Big enough for a pontoon boat, he yeah, says. Say. <laughs> we don't have the property up here, but we could do a five acre one down at the bottom door part. We could. Yeah. Yes, we could. I mean, you might as well haul me some beach sand and a couple yeah. of palm trees and yeah. call it a vacation. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna call this operation success. We're gonna lock everything up, dump in the truck, get back to the farm and uh, get some stuff done there. Good day. Good day at the Upgrid property. All right, everyone. Well, as always, thank you all for watching. I appreciate you, your support. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and yes, leave me a comment. Thanks for following us on our journey and we'll catch you on the next one.